So today, our theme is algebra and pomies, and we're going to use pomies to talk about the most important rule in algebra. Worthy of three stars. Are you ready? Okay. Here it is. I'm going to write it down, then I'm going to say it, then I'm going to say it again. Which happens to be algebra. Which happens... The most important rule, in my opinion, in algebra, is what you do to one side, you have to do to the other. Yeah. Do you know why? Because ah. there's this thing in the middle of an equation. It looks like this. What's that? An equal sign. An equal sign. What does an equal sign mean? It equals. Yeah, so like 5 equals? 5 equals 5. 5 equals 5. 5 equals 5. 5 also equals 2 plus 3. Right? Uh -huh. But we know it's the same. This is the same as this, and this is the same four. as this. Or 1 plus 4. Excellent, you're right. Or 1 plus 4. But we know they're the same because of the equal sign. Mm -hmm. Now, it's 0 plus 5. Or 5 plus 0. I'm going to need a pony. Rainbow Dash. Rainbow Dash. Okay, thank you. Can I call? Okay. Pinky by time. Pinky by time. Pinky, Y or I E? I E. Pinky by time. Pinky pie equals Pinky pie. Now. There's something that we know. Whatever is on this side, the left side, equals what's on the right hand side. Right hand side. Pinkie Pie is the same as Pinkie Pie, right? Now here's a question for you. Is that equal sign still true? I think if you do pink pie plus rainbow dash, so rainbow dash could be a zero, so it is pink pie. Now that is an excellent point. That's actually really, really important. If rainbow dash were a zero, this would be the same, because pinkie pie equals pink pie plus nothing. But we don't know what rainbow dash is because we're doing algebra, because algebra has variables. And we don't know what rainbow dash is. Dine, 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 dine. But you know what? We can use my favorite rule, the most important rule, to fix it. Let's say it together. What? Do you? What you do? What you do? To, to one side, side you have, have to have to do, do to the, the other. What did I do to side. this side? What did I do? You, you put rainbow dash there. So what should I do to this side? You should make, make an apple. So that means Pinkie Pie plus do you what equal? Pinkie Pie and, and Applejack, because Applejack is three. Is Applejack the same as Rainbow Dash? Oh, oh, Pinkie Pie and Rainbow Dash. That's right. You have to, you have to do the exact same thing to this side. No differences. So what should I put here? Rainbow Dash. Just Rainbow Dash. Rainbow Dash, 
What goes in between him and Piggy? A multiplication sign? A division sign? A plus. A plus. An addition sign. on that side. Now, no matter what Rainbow Dash is, if he's positive, negative, the zero. Con. The mirror con. Is this side the same as this side? Yes. Excellent. Okay, let's use some real numbers. I'm going to do two examples and we're done. Example number one. Okay, are you ready? Uh, give me another pony. Twilight. Twilight. Now. Last time we talked about the intuitive method. That's where we just sort of, uh, we know a bunch of rules about math, so we can solve this. Three. It is three. But, we're going to use it using my new favorite rule, what you do to one side, you have to do to the other. And I'm actually going to show you how your brain solves this without even really thinking about it. Seven plus twilight? Very good guess. Not quite. You know what we need to do? We need to get Twilight on one side, all by him. Is Twilight a him or a her? A her. We need to get Twilight all by herself on one side and everything else on the other. Because we need to know Twilight equals, we already know what it equals, right? It equals? Three. Three, that's right. Now, before we can put three, we have to move this plus seven. Do you know how we do that? need to just put up equals 7 plus 3. Ooh, that's a good guess. Now, 7 plus 3 is 10, you're right. Now, here's what we do. Now, we have to do it to exactly the same to both sides. I want to get rid of this plus 7. I need to make it 0. Do you know how I do that? You make minus 7. Yeah. What's 7 minus 7? Zero. Zero. But what I do to one side, I have to do to? The other. Beautiful. Now, I did minus 7 over here, so I'll do minus 7 over here. What's 10 minus 7? 3. What's twilight equal? 3. Beautiful. We solved that problem. Let's do one more. Ah. Example 2. We're going to go with bit more complex, because I think you can handle it. How about Celestia? Celestia it is. Um, can you... Princess Celestia. <laughs> Did I try the whole thing? Okay. How do you spell Celestia? C-E-L-E-S-T-I-A. Excellent. Princess Celestia. something on one side? By just switching it up. Switching it up, very good. Also known as the opposite sign from what it is. The opposite sign from multiplication is division. The opposite sign from addition is subtraction. You can kind of do this. No. Thank you. That was magical. Okay, are you ready? Hey, we're doing 
we're just about done. This is the last question. Are you ready? Bonk. So, the opposite sign for a multiplication is? Division. Division. How are we going to get that 10 out? Division. Division. We're going to divide by? Princess Celestia. No. We're going to leave that because we need to solve that. We need that Two. on one side. Two. Okay. 10 divided by 10 is? 10 divided by 10 is minus 10 or 10. divided by itself is just 1. 100 divided by 100? 1. 7 divided by 7? 1. But what? what's 1 times anything? 1 times anything is its regular number. That's right, it's a regular number. But we have divided by 10 on this side, so what do you have to do to this side? We need to leave it. What you do to one side, you have to do the other side. Okay. We divide by 10 here, so what do we do here? 70 divided by 70. Divided by 70. What you do to one side, you have to do the exact same thing to the other. What do we do to this side? Divide by 10. What do we do to this side? Divide by 70. Exact same thing. We divide by 10 on this side. Oh, yeah. There we go. Do you know what 70 divided by 10 is? Uh, 7? Very good, 7. Celestia. Ready? Okay. We got rid of the 10, that became a 1, and 1 times anything is anything, so we just left the it. The show has spoken! Nothing. Celestia? We just need to sit around here and do nothing. Yes? Yeah. Celestia plus 2 equals 7. We want to get rid of the plus 2, how do we do that? We subtract 2. That's right, we use subtraction, because that's the opposite of addition. So we subtract 2 from this side, what do we do to this side? Celestia plus 0 equals 7. Hang on. We did minus 2 on this side. What do we have to do to this side? 7, mi seven minus 2. Very good. What does Celestia equal? 5. Look at that. Now, you know what's really nice about algebra? We can always go back and check our answer. Let's plug this 5 back in our original equation. Original equation. Ten times five plus two equals seventy. Seven times ten, seventy. We got it right. Way to go.